Hello, and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I'm not making soap. We're gonna make wax melts, and I'm gonna show you how I make really strong scent throw wax melts, and I use Pillar of Bliss Wax. It's a combo wax from Nature's Garden. I really like it. It's got a higher melting point. I feel like the fragrance really stays in there well, and it can, it can tolerate a big load of fragrance. So that's the wax I'm using. Today, we're gonna do these little, Sorry, I don't have it up. Little clamshell molds, and I love these because you can snap off a block for your wax melter. They label up really easy. <laughs> they jump out of your hand. Um, and I'll show you what I, you know, I won't show you how I make them because I'm so technology challenged, but I'll show you how, you know, I make my labels and print them out. So these are just what we're gonna make today. I've already filmed this, so I'm showing you after the fact. Um, they were just so fun. And then also, I'll show you how to decorate the top of your wax melts and make them just look really pretty. Just add a little something special. So I want to give a shout out to Kim Wayne. Uh, emailed me uh, and asked if I would take some fragrance oils that she had and wasn't using a bunch of little one ounce bottle from Lone Star little fragrant oils. And she sent me like a couple dozen of these and I'm I was so blown away thank you Kim and I had so much fun I was just thinking what can I do with these so there were so many but several you know duplicates so I kind of categorized them into woodsy floral fruity and split them up and was able to make several batches of really wonderful strong scented wax melts so that's what we're doing today um, and I'm doing a little custom blend for each of these fragrances so I don't have one um, scent to recommend to you. And that's the nice thing too about wax melts is you can blend fragrances that you think smell really well together and kind of create your own. It's got a lot of playroom, which is why I love wax melts. There's no live flame on there like a candle. It's not going on your body. So you do have a little wiggle room to really experiment and have some fun. And I think these smell fabulous. So let's get everything pulled together and uh, I'll bring you along and talk over the footage that I did of making these wax melt, little clamshell wax melts. Here's my wax. I'm going to get it on the burner melting. And uh, there's my fragrant oil blend. And here are the colorants that I'm using. I have wax chips and liquid dye, and they're for candles. They're, these are specifically made for candles. Uh, today I'm going to be using my little wax chips. There's some sugar sprinkles that I'll put on top just to make them beautiful. Good thermometer is wonderful. You're going to want that. So here I'm adding my dye chips into the melted wax. I brought it up to 190 degrees. I'm letting it cool and uh, stirring in my wax chips. Here's a way to test the color. Put it on some white paper and you get a good picture. I had to add a few more chips to get it darker. That's the color I'm going for right there. A nice sort of wood mahogany brown. I went a little bit cool here. You can go around 180 to add your fragrance. Mine is 168. Here goes in the fragrance oil. It's okay, just blend it really well. Um, you really wanna add the uh, fragrance after it gets down to about 180 degrees. So you mix it really, really well. Make sure all the fragrant molecules are bonded with your wax. And then we're gonna to get to pouring and I like to keep a paper towel in my hand for any drips to keep my surface clean. And we're just gonna pour these up nice and level over all the little dividers here and let them set up. I'm gonna let them get a little skin on the top and then I'll come back in with those sugar sprinkles to put down on top just to add a little fun to it. You know, this isn't gonna have a live flame or anything, so I just think it looks beautiful. But you wanna wait for a little skin on the top so it doesn't sink to the bottom. And then just sprinkle those down on top and I'll let these sit and cool all the way before I close the top on these little guys. You don't want any condensation in there. Here's the labels that I use. And I get these from online labels. And when you purchase from them, you get to use their Maestro label designer. And uh, I am not techie, uh, you know, I'm not going to show you how I make mine because I'm super challenged. But anyway, there they are fully cured or fully cooled. And now I'm just going to take my little labels that I designed on Maestro, my online labels, put it on the little pack. And these are just so wonderful. And you can snap off a cube or two, throw them in your warmers, and you have a wonderful, strong scented wax melt. Okay, here's the next one. I'm going to do my cinnamon cookies. And so I've already got them poured in there and I wait for the skin and then I put some wax in the pot and melt it without any extra coloring so that when that wax cools, it's going to be a white ivory color on top of the beige for my cookie color. 
So just taking a pipette and making a little drizzle. I want these to just look scrumptious because they sure do smell that way. <laughs> and then I'm coming in with my different sugar sprinkles again, just because it's beautiful and why not, right? I, I think visual is as good as your scent receptors. So these are the cinnamon cookies going down here and we're gonna get these labeled up also using the Maestro label designer. And uh, I like craft paper for my labels because that just kind of goes with what I have going on in my business. So there it is. Isn't that pretty with the drizzle? Snap the top down. Again, wait till they are fully cooled before you snap the tops and put the labels on and they are ready to go. And I love clamshells. They ship really well, very stable for shipping. So there is cinnamon cookies. And then next, Let's do soft petals. I had a bunch of floral fragrances and I blended them together and it just smelled really nice. A very, like a bouquet of flowers. So I'm calling this soft petals and I did use dye chips. Again, waiting for the skin to develop. I put a little uncolored portion back in the pot and melted it to do the drizzle. And then I'm gonna put some little pearl, sugar pearls of pink on there because I thought the colors went really well. So the drizzle that I put in the pot, I didn't rinse out my pot. It had a little bit of the colorant left in there. Now you'll see it's not gonna be this dark purple. It's gonna um, turn a little more uh, pinky color. It's very pretty, very kind of goes with the soft floral scent. Um, so anyway, when I put the uncolored wax into the pot, it picked up just a drizzle of, see, it picked up just a little bit of the color, so it's enough different. There they are, fully, cooled off I'm gonna add my labels and I'm just I love these clamshells they're just wonderful these smell great and thank you again Kim for sending those wonderful fragrances to play around with it's just been a blessing and I hope you enjoyed the video have an awesome day and thanks for watching